Example three, we have the weighted voting system with a quota of six, and there are four players. Their weights are four, three, two, and one. We want to find the Banzaf power distribution of this system. So the coalition that just contains player one has a weight of four. This is a losing coalition, so we don't need to worry about critical players. The coalition with only player two has a weight of three. This is a losing coalition, and so no need to worry about critical players. The coalition containing player three has a weight of two. It's a losing coalition, and again, no need to worry about the critical players. The coalition containing only player four has a weight of one. It's a losing coalition, and we don't need to worry about critical players. The coalition containing player one and player two, this has a weight of four plus three or seven. This is a winning coalition. If we were to remove player two, the weight would only be four. So player two is critical. If we were to remove player one, the weight would be three. So player one is also critical. So both player one and player two are critical here. Next, player one and three. That would have a weight of four plus two or six. It's a winning coalition. And because we're just meeting the quota of six, we know that removing either one of these is gonna cause this coalition to lose. And so both players are critical. So both player one and player three. Next, the coalition with players one and four, that would have a weight of four plus one or five. This is a losing coalition, so we don't need to worry about critical players. The coalition containing players two and three, this has a weight of three plus two, which is five. This is a losing coalition, and so we don't need to worry about critical players. The coalition containing players two and four, this would have a weight of three plus one, which is four. It's a losing coalition, so we don't need to worry about critical players. The coalition containing players three and four would have a weight of two plus one or three. This is a losing coalition, so we don't need to worry about critical players. The coalition containing players one, two, and three, this has a weight of four plus three plus two, which is nine. This is a winning coalition. If we remove player three, the weight would go down to seven, and that would still be a winning coalition, so player three is not critical. If we remove player two, the weight would go down to four plus two or six, so it's still winning, and so player two is not critical. If we were to remove player one, the weight would go down to three plus two or five. That's now a losing coalition, and so player one is critical. The coalition containing players one, two, and four. So that has a weight of four plus three plus one, which is eight. This is a winning coalition, and we need to determine who the critical players are. If we remove player four, then we have a weight of seven, so it's still winning coalition, and player four is not critical. If we were to remove player two, our weight would be four plus one or five. That causes it to lose, so player two is critical. And if we remove player one, our weight would be three plus one or four, which is a losing coalition, and so player one is also critical. Next, the coalition containing players one, three, and four. So the weight would be four plus two plus one, which is seven. This is a winning coalition. If we remove player four, the weight would be four plus two or six, so it's still winning. So player four is not critical. If we remove player three, the weight would be four plus one, which is five. And so that causes it to lose, and so player three is critical. And then if we remove player one, the weight would go down to three plus one, or, oh sorry, two plus one, which is three, which would cause it to be a losing coalition, and so both players one and three are critical.
Next, the coalition containing players 2, 3, and 4. This would have a weight of 3 plus 2 plus 1, which is 6. And we are just meeting the quota, so if any one of these three drops out, it would cause the coalition to lose. So all the players here are critical. Players 2, player 3, and player 4. And the last coalition containing all of the players. This has a weight of 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, which is 10. It's a winning coalition. And if we remove player 4, that would bring our weight down to 9, which is still a winning coalition. So player 4 is not critical. If we remove player 3, it would bring our weight down to 8. Still a winning coalition. So player 3 is not critical. If we remove player 2, the weight would go down to 7. It's still a winning coalition. And so player 2 is not critical. If we remove player 1, the weight would go down to 6, which is still a winning coalition. And so none of these players are critical. Next, we need to figure out how many times each player was critical. So we'll write that up top here. Player 1 was critical 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. Player 2 was critical 1, 2, 3 times. Player 3 was critical 1, 2, 3 times. And player 4 was critical one time. And our total? So 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1 gives us a total of 12. And then we make up our fractions for our indexes for each of the players. So player 1 would be 5 twelfths. Player 2 would be 3 twelfths, and that fraction reduces. It reduces down to 1 fourth. Player 3 was also critical 3 times, so 3 twelfths or 1 fourth. And player 4, 1 twelfth. So that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions, and I hope you're having a wonderful day.